Yeah, guys, 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 we are back, guys. Shout out to the subs. Oh my god, guys, I have missed you guys. Shout out to the subs, but obviously, I mean, of course, shout out to everybody who clicked. That's the main obvious thing. Is shout out to anybody who even clicked on this. But guys, super big shout out to the monsters. Like, let's be for real, guys. I love you guys. Um, guys, I know it's been a little bit. I know, I know. And everybody's like, all right, where's Art Pop? When are we doing Art Pop? Guys, we're doing it right now, guys. Literally right now. I know it's been too long. I actually I actually came here like about almost a week ago with the idea of doing Art Pop as soon as I got here. Um, but then I got distracted and guys, I made a whole album instead. <laughs> so guys, stay tuned for that because I have a new album on the way. Um, even though I actually already have three albums that are literally done i just haven't put them out yet so i actually have like a fourth one on the way <laughs> i still have to put out the other three and i have a new one but guys that's for another that's something else that's go to my other channel guys with my music in the description go check it out but um anyway guys so we're finally here and i am super hype i mean it's gaga like how could i not be excited you know and um, um the main thing for me as we're doing these these discographies because I'm sure you guys know. If you don't know, if you just happen to click this video, I'm going through like discographies of everybody on this channel. Like we're doing all kinds of different discographies. So here's the thing about doing them is it's very, very, first of all, it's fun just to like get to hear all this music from these giant artists that I, for whatever reason, never got into. Um, but not only that, what's great is to, is to hear the evolution and like how they, you know what I mean? Like where they go from album to album. And so I'm excited to hear where did she go after Born This Way? Because so far from what we've heard from her, that was the best album to me. Um, I don't, I don't, it's hard. I mean, I liked every one so far, but I, if I'm, if I had to only just pick one, I would have to go with Born This Way. Uh, so anyway, I'm super hyped to hear where did she go exactly? What did she do after that? So, and also because I did read. I don't know all the story because I wasn't there at the time. Like I, like I mean, I was alive, obviously, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Like I wasn't into her, so I don't know all the ins and outs and all the details. But I did read that this album did not do as well as people thought, or as as they expected it to do. The label, I guess, and you know, I mean, her and her team. And um, but again, that doesn't mean it's a bad album. I can think of twenty million great albums where they were not successful at the time, but they're amazing albums. You know, Velvet Underground and Nico. Anybody? Like, come on. But, so guys, I'm hyped to hear this. Um, I gotta say, first of all, just based off the cover, I'm super excited because I love the cover. Um, this cover is crazy. And guys, I'm gonna shut up because you guys know I've not, I never stop talking. I always talk too much, guys. So we got, let's see, released on November 11th, 2013, guys. We got Gaga, guys, Lady Gaga with Art Pop. Let's get into it. Whoa, what the fuck? Acoustic instruments. I killed my father Left her in the trunk of the highway tank. <laughs> okay, entrance of the gladiators. Okay, that's entrance of the gladiators, right? Yeah. 
fucking insane. Oh my god. That really zip 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 kind of sound. Like to hear the, the bass, it's very zip zip zip. Yeah, like justice. You guys know you guys know justice. Got like justice vibes. It's kind of staying on one note. The upper line is moving. Say 
Earth, though, huh? On all the planets, she didn't mention Earth. God, guys. Whoa. That was crazy. Greetings, Humeros. God of sexual desire. Son of Aphrodite. Lay back and feast as this audio guides you through new and exciting positions. Oh, okay. That sound is fire with layers. Oh. I love you. I wanna be a G. You wild gay. I wanna be the grave. And earth you. Oh. Sex as a test. No lies. I'm gonna wear the towel and the power to leave you. I'm aiming for full control of this love. Of this love. Touch me, touch me, don't be sweet. I can't tell my 
myself for thinking you Last night Then you were in the sex dream You were in my Telling me that that's the thing You were in my But you did in the sex dream You were in my Making love in my sex dream Oh my gosh, what the fuck? best songs that could be that's that's top three gaga songs we've ever heard are you serious right now that was amazing oh my god yeah. okay where are we going where are you taking us gaga where are you where are you, where are you taking us Like, not at all. I would never expect something like this. 
Yeah. 
Precious with darkness won't help you create your destiny Yourself what our pop could mean anything like a driving around in the middle of the night type of vibe right here. There's another video of driving around.
god. Wow. 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 This album has already been amazing, but that just took it to another level right now. I am so fab. Yeah. Check out, I'm blonde. I'm skinny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rich. And I'm a little bit of a bitch. I wanna dress you up in silk. Tap it up. Tailor these clothes to fit your guilt. What's your size? This purse can hold my black card and This is like the fourth Tiara. This song is giving me those Versace justice vibes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about in the bass? I will Dolce Or even like you guys remember Sebastian? Genesis, not the band, the song. Just like, you guys like, we are your friends.
We need a disco album from Gaga. Oh my god. This is literally, this is, this is too much. This is too much. And then what, what?
dope. Damn. That's pretty bad. That's that's, that's when you got it bad. <laughs> that's when you got it really bad. Damn. Sometimes the story has no end. Sometimes wow. I think that we could just be friends. I was expecting us to go somewhere else. It was just a straight bad. He said to me. Your plans does it seem we have even make sense when I got the world in front of me? So I said. Oh, yeah. 
is that a play on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shout out Ali Goulin. I love Ali Goulin. Guys, what? <laughs> guys, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, guys. All right. I mean, I know maybe I'm having recency bias because we literally just heard it. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I got. I feel like I got to hear Born This Way again and then hear this one like back to back. So like if I really want to compare, but there's no point in comparing. You know what I mean? Like music's music. Like it is what it is. Like this album right here, guys, was so fire. What? What? First of all, I mean, guys, it was like, it really 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 was not what i expected but i mean again it wasn't a radical departure it was obviously still like a pop album of course but like it was so different sonically again not a hundred percent i guess but you guys know what i'm trying to say right like it just felt like a way different album than anything we had heard before even though like some of the stuff it still had it's still her so it's still gonna have a lot of the things that she comes with when she writes and and the, you know what i'm saying so it's, it's still gonna have a lot of those things again her obviously her just her whole thing that she just brings to it her just her whole concept of it you know what i mean and then obviously i mean obviously the vocals that's kind of that's too obvious right <laughs> no matter what she sings it's gonna sound like her right but not just that but then also in terms of like um like first of all the lyrics you know I feel like we have always, always had amazing lyrics from her since the beginning. But I felt like the lyrics on this album were just, she was just on a different, like, I, I don't know. I felt like lyrically, this is the best album that we heard from her, you know, um, overall. Because again, there, the lyrics have always been amazing from her. For, you know what I mean? From the, well, again, we haven't heard her whole discography, but I'm saying everything we've heard from her so far, everything was amazing lyrically. But this one, I felt like she just kind of went into like another level on this one, which she was kind of, I don't know. It was sort of, I don't know. It was just different. You know what I mean? And then, so like I said though, but that was still a consistent though, like I said from before, where her lyrics were always amazing. Obviously, her vocals, you know, I feel like she's not, she's not a traditional. She's not, she doesn't come with the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That type of thing. She's not coming with that, with like, let me show you, like, she's not like a, like, you know, extra technical, let me show off, like, you know what I mean? My range and my type of singer. She's not that type of singer, but it doesn't mean that you still can't be a great singer. There's a million great singers who don't do that. Like, just cause, you know what I mean? A lot of, like, there are great singers who do it, but a lot of people try to like, make it seem like oh if you don't do that then you're not one of the great singers like, you used to be a great singer there's a million oh, chet baker all day and listen go listen to it, guys if you never heard chet baker go put on chet baker but uh go look up chet baker sings but like listen to chet baker like he's one of the all-time greats and he doesn't do that at all you know what i mean listen, go listen like a howlin wolf or something like you don't have to be do you know what i mean um so my point though is with gaga i feel like her voice is actually super underrated because as much as i've like read and heard about her and everything now now that we start like you know that we're listening to her on here uh i feel like i haven't really heard people really talk about her voice enough i feel like people talk about her image and uh, obviously sonically like you know what i mean the, the sound is just especially considering like the earlier sound and what where music was at the time and then that sound becoming really big from like her breaking that kind of sound even though now that i heard blackout from britney i feel like some of the it was sort of already brewing you know what i mean that type of thing but um but do you know what i mean i feel like people talk about all that kind of stuff but i feel like people don't really give enough credit for her vocals I, and i think her i i really my point is um also like the other albums this album was also fire with the vocals um just everything about it but at the same time i felt like because it took i don't know not that not necessarily just because it was a different sound from the previous stuff but also because it felt like I guess I feel like the previous albums had a like a single cohesive sound. Do you know what I mean? And this one sort of was like had like a sort of very we kind of we didn't go extremely all over the place. This wasn't like one of those albums where you go everywhere, everywhere. Uh, this wasn't like Mr. Bungle or something. You know what I mean, but like we still kind of had different stuff on here where it was just. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Something about this album. Maybe Again, maybe it's just because I just heard it, so I'm just kind of biased because <laughs> I literally just finished hearing it and I loved it. But uh, this is potentially her best one. I, I Like I said, I have to hear Born This Way again. But I feel like this might be potentially... I don't know. I've loved it. And like I was trying to say earlier, too, she does that thing that I love. She's so good at it where 
her verses will be more staccato and then so like staccato is like like instead of holding a note like ah uh, like uses up up like when you cut it off short like when it's a short note up uh, that's called staccato and then legato is when you go ah and it's like a long note and you know she does that she's so good at doing that where the verses will be more staccato melodies which are super catchy and then the verses will be these legato melodies which are catchy too but they're they're like they kind of sing out more so they're 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 perfect for like a big chorus to really just start singing and going crazy you know what i mean like um you know what i mean like like uh i'm, I'm, I'm totally blanking on my head but you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> You know, but face. That's super staccato. Every every face. That's like a legato. Every every You know what I mean? She's so good at going between staccato and legato. She's so good at doing that, and she did it all over this album. She does it like. On everything we've heard so far, she's, she's not every single song, literally, but I was like, she's so good at doing that, the way that she kind of, you know what I mean? She'll, uh, uh, dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands up my head, 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 right? And then, and then, I won't cry for you, I won't cry for you, do. you know what I'm saying? Like that, that chorus is super, but before she gets into that, it's, uh, and, 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 with my, and, and, like, she's so good at doing that, and she's so good at that, uh, and, uh, all over this album, it was, I, I, guys, I told it, guys, oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm trying to think, like, what was the best track, though, because I'm going through this, I'm like, no, this whole thing was so fire, I don't even know, guys, that was a really dope album, um, I have, I'm curious, though, so for you guys who were fans of her, and then you were there when this album came out, what did you guys think? Like, what was the, like, because who cares about the critics and who cares? Because I, I think critics are the worst. I think they're absolutely like, who cares? Here's my opinion on music. Shut up. <laughs> who cares about your opinion on music? Who asked you? Shut up. You don't even make music. Critics never even know how to play anything. They never, they never made music a day in their life. They just want to just tell you, all right, shut up. We get it. But like, so who cares about the critics and who cares about the sales within the wider general audience who were ne not necessarily fans of her anyways? I don't care about that. I'm curious about like, what was, what did the fans think? Like, what did you guys think? Like when this came out, were you guys feeling it? How did you feel compared to the earlier stuff? Where were you guys at with this? Basically what I'm saying. And like you guys and everybody, if you guys knew any other Gaga fans or if you guys really online and saw all this stuff like i'm just curious like what were the actual fans like what did what did the monsters think is what i want to know like what was what did the what was the monsters reception to this i don't who cares about everybody else because everybody else is gonna be really gonna be hating anyways i'd be like man eh, stupid man man all right well, we don't care about your opinion anyways then who cares get out of here then if you don't like it go away like you know what i mean so i'm just super curious so um like what did you guys think and also, just because, like I said, I feel like it's not, it wasn't a radically 20,000% different sound, but it was different enough where I feel like it must have been kind of, there must have been something there when you guys heard it, right? I don't know. Anyway, guys, shout out to everybody. I love you guys. Um, man, that was amazing. You know, earlier when I, I went on, I, I logged on to YouTube and they recommended rendered me a video uh, called something. I didn't watch it, but I just saw the title. It was a video called how to find new music and my instant thought was oh start a start a reaction channel <laughs> and then do whatever the people in the comments say that's how that's that's how i'm finding new music i never would have heard this i never would have thought to put on art pop from lady gaga if it wasn't for you guys i love you guys so much guys shout out to everybody guys we'll be back uh obviously i don't know which one is next but whatever's next that's the one we're doing next so guys i love you guys guys go check out my music again like i said in the description on my other channel and guys, go follow me on IG or Twitter or TikTok or whatever at Inyo Cutsy, I N Y O K U T S C. Uh, yeah, guys, we'll be back.